Okay, welcome back, YouTube. Um, this is the third in uh, thir third episode in series two of the harness rework. Um, I've been getting a few more emails, uh, just asking about what's going on with this harness, and I'll give you an update. I'm sorry, this is just when I get out to the garage, I can get out to the garage. So, um, this is the uh, the first part of the removal, and this probably is one of the most critical because. A lot of the questions I get are, what do I take off? What do I remove? What do I do? Um, well, most of the time, you're not going to want to have these, okay? And these circuits right here um, need to come out, all right? And they're right there. They're immediately outside the firewall harness. This is the firewall harness, so you can picture this as being inside your vehicle, and this is in the, fire, in the engine compartment. And as you notice, also, um, I stripped down, took off all the tape and insulation, and I have basically, this is again where the firewall is. This is the inside of the, uh, this is the engine compartment. This goes up towards the driver's side, and then this comes down towards the passenger side. And this is what I'm going to work on first. So my next couple of videos are going to deal with all this mess. But first I wanted to show you, the, these, these need to go, okay? And from my notes, these map to pins 31, 32, 33, and 38. Okay, remember that, pins 31, 32, 33, and 38. If you look at the diagrams that you see online, you'll see these. These, need, these serve no purpose in most applications unless you're trying to recreate or authenticate uh, an early or a mid-90s, or excuse me, a late 80s, early 90s Mustang, and you want to keep all the emission stuff on. Okay, so these are going to go first. Um, also, this pair of wires goes right here, too. This is going to go first as well. So, how do I do that? Well... You can simply cut these off and say goodbye. But there's a couple things you want to look at. This red wire here, okay? This red wire and this red, these two red wires, they're power circuits that feed everything in the harness. They run back to pins 37 and 57 and the connector. And when we're finished with this harness, we're going to actually route them to raw battery power through a relay. So you can power everything in your harness, um, all your sensors, all your, um, like your math and everything else run off that same power, which means that if you cut these, you're going to have two open, basically open 12-volt um, hot circuits sitting in your harness, just hanging there. Uh, best bet is to cut these off, tape them off, and then in heat shrink tubes so you don't get any kind of bare connections, and then just tape them up here and leave them go, um, and leave them, you know, cover them up later with your harness tape. Or... If you have accessories, they're very handy because they do have a, um, they're key activated from, the re from a, a relay. They run straight 12 volt right off the battery, but they're key activated. So that means the relay is, is engaged when you turn the key. <clears throat> so these can, these will be only hot when the key's on. And so again, that's this red wire that you see here. Okay. These will come off and these red wires will be cut back to here and we'll have to crimp them off or at least make them accessible if we want to use them in the future. All right. I don't recommend putting a lot of a lot of you know, electrical devices on these circuits because remember this red wire runs through your whole harness, this circuit, and it eventually ends up here where we're going to have a set of relays. Actually, here's my relay thing. I finally got it from eBay. We're going to install this later. But one of these circuits in here is going to be the 3757 circuit, which is going to feed 12 volt battery power straight to all the features. Uh, all the things that are running on the harness, okay? But right now, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to remove these connectors and then come to the, the main connector and pull the wires out so you thin this out a little bit and make this more manageable, okay? Um, all right, we'll get this off too. This is the airbags. We don't need those. They have nothing to do with the harness. They're just wrapped in. They just pass through it, and we'll get those out. And they, you can see, are up here, and they ran down to the front right corner of the car. And there's one connector, and there's the other. So we'll eliminate those as well, pull those wires out. Again, this harness is going to get thinner as we go. Okay, so that's, that's what we're going to do. The next video I'm going to put up is going to show you uh, how to cut these wires and then remove the actual pins from the 60-pin connector. I did cover this in my previous videos, but I'm just starting from the beginning with this. Um, again, just to get everybody up to speed with where we are. Okay, all right, I'll see you again online. Bye.